At this point, I feel like everybody's heard about Japanese baseball gloves being the bee's knees. You have to get one. Today, we're talking about the difference between the typical American glove versus the Japanese glove. And a huge question we're gonna answer is, can an American brand make a Japanese glove it's actually good as a Japanese glove. Let's do it. We're missing a crucial glove that we need for this video, so let's get it. Putty products? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're at the right place. Hey, guys. Welcome. Yeah, I'm looking for a Danny or a Joe. Do those people exist here? They exist. <laughs> what do you got? I'm here for a baseball Okay, the gloves look way better in person. This is what I picked. Uh, and I love it. Thoughts? They're sweet. I'm just the same thing. <laughs> this is the same this take. Is take two. Small announcement? No. Massive announcement. <laughs> Later in the video, I'm doing a massive, massive, massive announcement. You guys have been requesting this for a very long time. Stay tuned. Now that we have our glove, let me explain why Japanese gloves are different because it's not just the leather. These three gloves right here, authentic Japanese gloves made in the Haga factory. They're all Mizunos. Potentially my top three favorite gloves that I own. Incredible. It's not because of the way they look, but it's because of the way that they're constructed. The materials on the inside of this glove are ridiculously nice. Now take these two gloves. They have Japanese influence, but this one sucks. <laughs> and it's because the materials on it are terrible. The fingers are terrible. The laces are horrid. This glove right here is actually really nice. And so it's because the materials, the insides of this glove are super nice. So this is like an American style glove with a little bit of Japanese influence with good materials equals an awesome glove. My point is having nice leather helps but the actual construction of the glove is what matters. And in Japan, they take it super, super, super seriously. And they make really nice gloves because of the insides and the stitches and the good leather or whatever too. So with that being said, our Jax here is actually made in Japan. This Wilson right here has a little bit of Japanese influence. That's why we're gonna use it today. But honestly, I forgot where it's made. Maybe the Philippines or something like that. Not Japan. Japan, not Japan. Japan, not Japan. Let's go break it in. If the lighting's bad down here, it's because the lighting is bad down here. So we just found out that uh, the footage looks 10 times worse than I thought it was going to uh, because we messed something up on the camera. I promise it's only in the next couple minutes. Audio still sounds good. Uh, bear with me, it'll be worth it. Sorry guys. The first thing I'm gonna be doing is just working this thing in with my hands. <clears throat> Kinda wanna learn the glove a little bit, but uh, after that, a little bit of mallet work and then we wanna dip it. I'm noticing really quickly, the thumb is crazy stiff. So. That tells me two things. One, the thumb is stiff. Two, most likely we're gonna have a little bit more of a one hinge than a two. It's gonna be kind of in between. Sometimes you have to pay more attention to how the glove wants to close than how you want it to close and then you kind of work with it. You compromise, it's like being married. Based on the way this glove feels so far, I plan on going traditional. Kind of wants to close right to that middle finger but there's plenty of space for a nice pocket. I'm pretty pumped so far, I love this thing. Not sponsored, just a great glove. I don't think I mentioned it, it's 315 bucks, which for an actual Japanese glove, that's really good. All right, a little bit of mallet work before water. Um, something I learned about dipping, I didn't even dip mine long enough last time I dipped it. You really do just put it under and keep it under, like this. Suffocate it, or wait, drown. I'll come up for a little bit of air, down again. Yeah. All right, now I'm just gonna kind of let it drip out and then we're gonna smash it. Oh, wait, the the uh, the news, the or massive announcement. I can't even begin to explain how many of you guys have asked for me to break in your gloves. I'm officially gonna start doing it. The process that I'm going through right now is actually how I'm going to be breaking in your guys' baseball gloves. This is actually my workstation. I'm renting it from my parents in their basement. Humble beginnings, but I'm actually super pumped about this because your gloves are gonna be in our videos and I cannot even begin to explain how many people have asked me to do this. So we're doing it. Hey, Chris from the future. Uh, this is kind of crazy. Just thinking about the fact that I'm doing baseball YouTube as a living because of you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I remember in high school, I would get yelled at all the time for watching glove videos, right? Japanese videos that I don't understand at all. Customizing gloves, 
even though I'm not buying them. And now I have an audience where I talk about gloves and for some reason you listen. And now I'm gonna be breaking in your gloves. With that being said, we do expect a lot of orders. BallGloveKing.com of course is where to go. We're gonna be open for the next two weeks, take a break and then open up next week. It's actually been two days. The glove is dry now. Well, I checked the day after and it wasn't mm -mm, not ready yet. It looks like a big flare, but it's really just very open. It's a very wide glove. Fingers are kind of just straight. I didn't do much to them. I gave this a little bend right here because as I close it, that's where that's closing there. So anyway, I like that. I'm just gonna condition the glove first and then we're actually gonna go to Midwest on the turf and use it. Conditioning montage. So, glove is conditioned. Take a look at it. I personally think it looks better when it's just slightly darker, but with ball players balm, this will lighten up after like a week. It'll just be its normal color. I wanna show you this though. This is our Wilson A2000 1716. It's the glove we're comparing it to today. The actual shape of these gloves is very different, so we're not comparing patterns today. We're generally comparing overall quality. This is about 300 bucks. This is 315 right now, but I found out it's gonna go up to like 400. So that kind of stinks, but from everything I've used so far, it seems pretty justified. I'll say that. This is the heat test, starting off with the Wilson 1716. I'm gonna go traditional with both gloves here. 69 miles an hour, by the way. That stung a lot. I really love this glove. And here, with the next catch, I'll show you why. So we're going traditional. And this just has one of the most consistent pockets I've ever, ever seen. It is slightly on the big side, but uh, the glove itself actually plays kind of small. This is 11 and a half, but kind of feels like 11 and a quarter. So this A2000 is about 300 bucks. And what I'm noticing is it feels way thicker. American gloves are typically thicker than Japanese gloves. So that makes sense. I've said this before, some gloves have a super precise pocket. This is absolutely one of them. Let's do like a quick bully test and see how much the glove actually gets bullied. I wanted to weigh these gloves and actually forgot to. Uh, this is what I have at home right now. It's a PBV Pro, it's 11 and a half inches infield glove. Um, where's our other one? Say hi to Josh editing. Hey. Oh, hi, hello. He's saying hi to himself. And then of course we have the jacks. So PPV Pro is one pound, four ounces. Jacks is one pound, 2.6 ounces. That's a pretty big difference. It is light. It's nothing super, super crazy, but it's light for sure. Big thumbs up. With this glove having a slight more bulky feel to it compared to this glove, which is very thin and hard, this glove has zero doinkage. Doinkage is when the ball hits and wants to kind of shoot away. A lot of gloves that are thicker have a ton of doinkage. I just felt like it was important to say. Bully test, let's go. It feels really good and it's a single post. A lot of times single post doesn't do as well for this test. Let's go two more. Money. That was high, it'll work. I mean, it felt great, honestly. I just wish I could have everything about this 1716, but it feel like bigger and wider. You can definitely do that over time when breaking it in, but uh, just slightly small. All right, heat test for the Jack's Japanese glove, I guess. I'm very excited for this. This is like a, this is a big deal. Feels good. Yeah, 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 yeah. That feels really, go again, let's go again. It's lighter, it's wider, and so far the pocket has been money, 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 money. Mr. Crab style. Dude, I might be in love. That's a good sign. I didn't catch that ball perfectly. I caught it more up on the web and it just rolled right down into the pocket. I'm not gonna say anything yet. Go a couple more. Two more, then a quick bully test. Bully test, let's do it. I think it feels so good.
That definitely stung. That was straight off the hand. Last one. Uh, that performed a lot better. I wasn't expecting it to do bad at all. But I wasn't expecting to like it that much. Let me explain some of why I'm liking this thing so much right now. Let me start by saying, I would wear this glove traditional, but you could definitely go two in the pinky as well. Just be a little bit deeper, a little deeper. Okay, not sponsored, but I'm about to tell you everything that is like really good so far about this glove, and then we'll hit negatives after that. For one, shaping and breaking in this glove, it listened to everything that I asked it to do. Like, it broke in exactly how I wanted it to, and it is near perfection. For example, I've talked about how we should have two types of closes. One even close with two hinges, and then one that kind of goes up. Boom, we have both of those. The one that goes up is for just quicker transfers. For example, if you're trying to turn a double play. Pocket depth. It's slightly on the deep side, okay? Which I think a lot of you guys like that, so do that, that. do with that as you will. The second thing, the glove feels so like loose and broken in while also being durable, doing really good in the bully test. Side note, the glove did really good in the bully test. Anything directly on my finger didn't hurt a ton or anything, just normal stingers. So anyway, the leather that they use, the liners they use are high quality enough to where I'm sticking the ball and it also has this like loose, floppy, game ready feel in a very short amount of time. Now this is subjective, but every single glove that they made for this line, I think looks incredible. This glove right here, it's a pitcher's glove, but I would use this at second, short, third, it feels amazing. Their outfield gloves felt beautiful. I wouldn't have one originally, but then I opted with this. Another positive would just be that the laces on this thing do feel really nice. Not too stiff, not too loose. The final good thing I have to say is it's an awesome experience using. I really love this glove so far. I don't think there's any durability issues, but that brings me to the only negative I could really come up with, which is this. Man. I almost shouldn't even count this as a negative. This is me being super, super nitpicky, but the fingers could be just slightly, slightly stiffer. There's not a lot of uh, like material in here, so it's kind of just like leather. It feels amazing. And it doesn't feel like a durability issue, but if I had to pick one thing that maybe could be added, would be that. You then have to consider, is it gonna make the glove feel more bulky? Is it gonna add weight? You know, this might be the best product possible. Dude, 315 bucks. If it's still 315, get one. That 400, $415 price range, whatever they end up changing it to, I think it's completely justified. If you want a Japanese glove, an actual Japanese glove, I think this might be the easiest way to buy one right now. It's an American brand who said, let's hook up with a Japanese company and make it happen. The original question, can an American brand make a Japanese glove that's actually Japanese? Yes. Yes, they can.